like to talk to you about bass motion drill number 15. This is going to be all in the key of one sharp, and we're just looking at a scalar kind of bass descent throughout the key. If you've not yet done so, I'd like to ask you to do please to subscribe to the channel, like, share, and leave a comment. If you'd care to leave a donation, the PayPal link is in the description. And let's get started with bass motion drill 15. These are all going to start with a fifth, widening out to a tenth. And we're going to walk down from, say, E, D, C, B. So four scale steps to the next scale step, which in this case from E will be A. And then from A, down four steps back to E. So we're going to have E and B, a fifth up here. And I should point out that all these fifths are going to be the same shape, except we're going to have one at the end, which is going to be fourth and fifth fret. This diagonal that's one fret apart rather than two. So we're just going to carry on with middle finger and little finger. So this will be good for mapping the board and for getting active in the bottom end while you I'm repeating a note on the third string in every case. So E, D, C, B. So this is 14 and 16. 12, 15, 14. And when that leads us to A and C, a tenth at 12 and 13. We're going to walk down to G, tenth fret. F sharp is at the ninth fret. And E is at the 12th fret of the 6th string. So we've gone from... So now we're going to go from D and A, 12 and 14. Same idea. We're going to walk down D, C, B, A. 12, 10, 14, 12. And that puts us at 10 and 12, G and B. So G and B, F sharp, 9th fret, E, 12th fret, D, 10th fret. And now we need C and, C and G. So we've played. Now we're going to start from C and G with a B below. So 10 and 12, C, G. B, A, G. And that's going to leave us with F sharp, D, sorry, F sharp, E, D, C. So here's F sharp and A, 9 and 10, on strings 5 and 2, going down a whole step, another whole step, and another whole step in the bass. And now we need B and F sharp. 9 and 11, B, F sharp, 7th uh, fret, A, G at the 10th fret, F sharp at the 9th fret. I hope you're seeing the scale of 1 sharp. Once we get, now we have E and G, 7 and 8, walking down E, D, C, B, I'll just call out frets, 7, 5, 8, 7. Now we have A and E, 7 and 9. We're walking down A, G, F sharp, E, frets 7, 5, 9, 7. And that brings us to D, 10th. So D and F sharp, 5th and 7th fret. We're going down to C, 3rd fret, B, 7th fret of the 6th string. A, 5th fret of the 6th string. And now we need G and D, 5 and 7. F sharp below on the 4th fret. E, D, G, F sharp, E, D. And now C, C and E, 3 and 5, fretwise. Walking down to B, 
2nd fret of the 5th string, and then 5th fret and 3rd fret of the 6th string. Now we could get F sharp and C, our little tritone, walking down to E, 2nd fret, D, 5th fret, C, 3rd fret. This would put us at B. I'm just going to take it that far. B and D, 2nd and 3rd fret. If you can reach out to A, 5th fret, and G, 3rd fret of the 6th string. So what I hope is that these patterns will start to be familiar to you and you can move them around to other keys, introduce notes for modulation. We've talked about that a little bit in other lessons. If you have questions, please leave them down below. And I wish you a very good day.